uh, energy equation we are going to derive. So if you consider that delta f is a change that occurs in the value of f during the delta t. So for the delta f, we consider two quantities. So first of all, we'd like to consider the work. Work is uh, expressed as force times the distance. So if you divide it by the force, by areas, and times area, times the distance. The area times distance corresponds to the volume. Force divided area becomes pressures. So work can be expressed the pressure times the volumes. So let's consider the, uh, the gas is pushed by the external force, the amount of the pressure P. And the volume of the gas is given by the delta V. Then by the external force, actually volume is changing. This volume change is expressed delta capital delta V. Okay, this is the volume change of the gas. So by the external force, the gas is pushed by the, this amount. In this case, the delta, delta V is a negative quantity. So in this situation, actually work down on the gas. So delta W have to be positive because the work down on the gas by the external pressures. So delta W this is negative quantity. Delta W is a positive quantity. To describe, you have to put a negative sign. This is really important. Pressure of the external pressure times change of the volume. Delta, delta V. So this is a work done on the gas inside of our cylinders. So we use uh, this expression to describe the work done on the gas. So delta W is a minus P times delta delta V. So delta V is uh, divided by delta M times delta M. And delta M is a mass of the shell. Mass of a shell, spherical shell. This is constant, constant quantity. So we can move the outside of the delta. So minus P delta N over one over rho because this is quantity is one over rho. Okay, so what can be expressed? Minus P delta N times delta one over rho. The amount of heat absorbed or emitted is the delta Q is a Q times delta M, delta T. So Q is a, a rate of the nuclear energy generations. So you have to multiply delta M. Then how much energy is generated by the nuclear reaction, you could calculate. And the en also the energy is transported from the inner region to the outer regions. So the energy is coming from the inner region, the FM. And the energy is losing from the this region, the F, and the position is M plus DM. So subtract. You can use a Taylor series expansions. F M plus DM is equal to FM plus round F, round M, delta M. You can substitute here, then you will get that. Delta Q. The energy equations can be expressed. The change of the internal energy by unit mass is a U, is an internal energy. To find out the internal energy of a shell, you have to multiply delta M. 
the change of the internal energy is due to the change of the amount of the heat absorbed by the, this shell with the delta Q plus work done on the shell, delta W. I explain delta Q and delta M substitute. It's going to be the next line. Because delta M is a constant, you can move the outside. And delta M is going to be cancelled out. You will get the equations. Change of the internal energy by unit mass can be expressed these equations. In the case of the thermal equilibrium, partial derivative with respect to T is zero. So right hand side becomes zero. So this means generated energy. This is generated energy. Energy is emitted as a luminosity of stars. So this becomes F sub M minus F sub 0. F sub 0 is actually 0. M, capital M, is the luminosity. The total energy of the stars. So once we obtain this equation, we'd like to integrate this equation over the whole stars. They integrate the energy equation over stars. So integrate, we add the, this symbol. Okay. The second term, so 1 over law. This equation is changing. 1 over law is expressed as round B, round M. Then you can exchange the derivative, partial derivative round m first and then round v round t. Round v round t is a v, round v is expressed 4 pi r squares round r because this is a, a volume of a shell. So we got this equation. So we just only consider the second term to the light this equation. So this is the equation. Then you can substitute this relation is here. Then you will get uh, this equation. Then from the this to the this, you can apply the integration by part. The at the surface, p equals zero. So you can integrate zero to the m. At the m, pressure is zero. At the center, this L0 at the centers, land V, land T is 0 because uh, using the, this equation, R is 0, so this point is 0, so it becomes 0. So this first term is becomes 0. This equation, first equation becomes expressed this one L nuclear 0m QDM. Uh, equation motions. R2 dot is equal minus gm over R squares minus 1 over rho round P round R. So round M round R is a 4 pi R square rho. We use this relation to change the second term on the light. So this becomes minus gm over R squares minus 4 pi R squares round P round M. So you can change this dr to the dm. We multiply the R dot and integrate it over the stars. So now we have this equation. So this equation can be expressed for the right hand side. It becomes 1 over R dot squares. Uh, first term on the light can be expressed this one. Uh, second term on the light we still keep the same terms here. And then we have already derived this equation from the last one. Then you can sum up the, these two equations. These two equations. Then you could realize 
distance and distance exactly same it's gonna be cancel out then finally we have these equations the change of the total energy in a stars is given by the difference between the generated energy of the nuclear L sub nuc and the emitted energy of L. So this is the energy conservation of a stars. The final equation is the nuclear reactions. Stellar materials composed of the free electron and the nucleus. Later, I will show the temperature but is high enough to ionize the stellar materials. So we only consider the electron and the nucleus. And change of the composition due to the nuclear reaction. One important nuclear reaction is a proton collide with another proton to form the deuteriums, plus positron and the neutrinos. In the nu nuclear reactions, Charge baryon and lepton numbers have to be conserved. So in the reactant, we consider the I and J. And the baryon number is A sub I, and the charge number is a G sub I. And the J is a reactant, and one more reactant is J, A sub J, and G, G sub J. And the produce, the product is a K and L. Then some of the baryon numbers. Is should be conserved. This is a conservation of the value of numbers. And also conservation of the charge. We have to apply. The equation of the composition change is expressed. Number density of the element I is expressed N sub I. Can be calculated. Rho sub I divided by the a sub i times m sub h. m sub h is an atomic mass unit. So this is a mass of the element i. Divided the density, you could find the number density. Number density is changing with time by the formation and the destructions. If the m sub i is react with the n sub j to form the element k, so this is a first terms correspond to destructions to form the other nucleus nucleus from the element I. And the element I could be formed by the nuclear reaction of the element L and the element K. Second term is the creation of the element I. So this is an equation to describe the change of the number density of the element I. Instead of the number density, we could use the mass fraction. Mass fraction is defined in this equation. Density of the element I divided the total density of materials, rho. So this is the x sub i. This is definition. So rho sub i is expressed the n sub i times a sub i times m sub h. Then instead of the n sub i, we prefer to use x sub y. Equations can be expressed in these equations. Formation of the element i and the destruction of the element i. So we simplified this equation using the vector form. Round x, round t, equal f. f is a function of low density, temperature, and the mass fraction. Finally, we get the equations to describe the stellar evolution. This is the conservation of mass, conservation of momentum, energy conservation, and the change of the element. Okay. These four equations, important equations to describe stellar evolution. Okay. This is the end of this session.